you. Thank you. Thank you, President King. You may please have your seat. Please have your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we please rise for the procession of council? We will begin the program with the opening hymn, Land of Our Birth, First and Second Stanzas, and it is behind your program.
That's the farm. That's the one on the right. The main one you are speaking is the one here. You may please have your seats. Chairman of the Term Board of the Medical and Dental Council, members of the Term Board, our invited guests, distinguished personalities, our friends from the media, our newly qualified medical and dental practitioners, parents, good morning to you all. You are all welcome to the induction ceremony of the Medical and Dental Council. I'd like to invite the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to give us the call to order and the purpose of gathering. Shall we please welcome the registrar? Thank you very much, Mr. P.A.J. Chairman, with your leave, this special meeting of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council is now called to order. May I, Chairman, respectfully introduce members of the 10th Board. From the extreme left is a consultant surgeon, professor and dean of the School of Medicine, University of Development Studies, and a representative of the deans on the time board, Professor Stephen Tabiri. <laughs> Next to him is a retired banker, a lay representative on the board, Mr. Samuel Ajapon. Next to him is Chief State Attorney, Mrs. Stella Otima Bedu, the Attorney General's representative on the board. <laughs> Chairman, with your leave, may I skip the next two? Next is Dr. Constance Adoyobo, retired Chief Dental Officer under whose watch dental services saw significant progress in this country a representative of the dental surgeons on our board. Next is Miss Rebecca Bante, a district director of health services, a surgeon, and a representative of the physician assistant groups. <laughs> Next is consultant physician, endocrinologist, senior lecturer, Greater Accra Regional Chairman of the Ghana Medical Association, and a representative of the medical doctors on the board. <laughs> then, the gentleman with the colorful smock, he's our own honorable deputy minister of health. He prides himself as the rural MP, and I'm sure he'll be telling you. He is the minister's representative for today's function and a member of the 10th Board of Council, Honorable Mahama Shani. And the gentleman with the golden chain and beautifully dyed hair, Professor Paul Kwame Nyami, the chairman of the 10th Board of Council. <laughs> Respectful chairman, Special invited guests, our inductees, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. As we may already be aware, the Medical and Dental Council is the statutory agency under the Ministry of Health, charged with the responsibility for the professional regulation of doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in Ghana. The object of counsel as provided for under section 26 of part two of the Health Professions Regulatory Bodies Act 2013, Act 857, is to secure 
in the public interest, the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. Mr. Chairman, in furtherance of its object, the Council is mandated to perform, among other things, the following functions. Ensure that the pre-registration training of newly qualified doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in accredited training institutions meets the required standards. Conduct examinations for the registration of foreign trained medical and dental practitioners and physician assistants. Compile and keep registers of registered practitioners and prescribe and enforce professional standards and conduct for practitioners. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Minister for Health, rep ably represented by the Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, Honorable Mahama Asay Saini. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this morning to induct into the profession, our profession, 130 medical and dental practitioners. While I welcome you all to this program, please be reminded that COVID-19 remains with us, and as such, I humbly request your compliance with the Ministry of Health and Ghana Health Service and WHO COVID-19 guidance and protocols, which are still in force. I also welcome our online audience watching this event live on our Facebook handle. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, these practitioners are drawn from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology School of Medicine and Dentistry, Kumasi. Accra College of Medicine, Accra. And foreign trained practitioners who passed Council's registration examination. Mr. Chairman, respectfully permit me at this time to address our inductees. Inductees, you may have had in the course of your training some responsibilities in the care of patients. These patient responsibilities were, however, directly borne by your teachers. So your transition from yesterday's students to today's professionals implies that human lives are now being directly entrusted in your care. Dear in that is, what this means is that from today, a greater responsibility of, in the care of patients will be laid right at your feet as you take on the front role of professionals in the medical and dental disciplines. This role literally includes the responsibility to decide between life and death. It is therefore important that having met the basic training requirements, the Medical and Dental Council, which supervises your basic training, formally admits you into the profession, registers you, and regulates your pre-registration practice, commonly referred to as housemanship. You will be eligible for permanent registration only after you have met the pre-registration standards, as explained to you on Wednesday during the pre-induction professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar. Dear in that is, due to the rapidly changing nature of science, medicine, and technology, as well as the changing professional regulatory landscape, Council now ensures that your registration on the provisional register involves the open declaration of your commitment to the profession, science, and society. Ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point kindly remind you of the shared value of counsel, guiding the professions, protecting the public. Thus, the aforestated ends, counsel's regulatory focus is on professional accountability aimed at promoting and protecting public health, safety, and well-being, assuring and maintaining confidence and trust in the profession and its members, promoting and maintaining public confidence in our healthcare system, and prescribing and enforcing professional standards and conduct for registered practitioners. Dear inductees, you will be required to sign the provisional registration certificate which gives you the legal authority to commence your housemanship. 
The occasion is also to afford you newly qualified practitioners the opportunity to interact with senior members of the profession. You had a session on the ethics and law that govern our practice on Wednesday. It therefore behoves you to be fully aware of your responsibilities during housemanship. And remember that council will continue to monitor and track your performance as house officers in Ghana. While on behalf of the management of council, I congratulate our newly qualified practitioners and welcome them to the noble, honorable, and arguably truly learned profession of medicine, they must remember that great professional practice experience requires of them a gentle smile, a listening ear, a kind heart, calm nerves, a critical and reflective mind, an unalloyed commitment to lifelong learning, a humble, decent, gentle, and reassuring persona, all of these clothed in integrity and respect for human dignity. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, we continue to share our solidarity with our professionals leading the fight against COVID-19. We continue to salute you. And our heartfelt condolences are with professional associations and the families of all colleagues who paid the ultimate price in defense of humanity. May we be consoled that they served humanity, our nation, and our profession very well. And this profession is proud of them. Finally, Mr. Chairman, Honorable Deputy Minister, special invited guests, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, you are all warmly welcome to this very important ceremony, and I hope you enjoy our program. We thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Dr. Divine Banyubala, the Registrar of the Medical and Dental Council. May I call on President King Yutkwa to give us a song. Some, one song, one day, you 
to President King Youth Choir. Chairman of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, Honorable Deputy Minister, members of the 10th Board, distinguished personalities, we've now come to the roll call of inductees. Once again, I have the singular honor to call on the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to do us the honor. Shall we please welcome him? Thank you very much. I think that uh, this session will require of you to celebrate our doctors. So I want to see an applause that reflects and feels and heavens will hear. Because they have been in it for a long time, and it is not easy to get to where we are. But there are a few rules about this roll call. The healthcare system is teamwork. And we know that some come from nearby, others come from yonder. Some have half of the village here. Others have just one person. And because it's teamwork, we also have shared responsibilities. So we're sure that our inductees will share the applause. Pe -pe -pe. Now, the inductees are seated in roles. So once we start, no matter the temptation from family members, when you hear your family member's name, please resist the temptation to clap until you hear the last person in that cohort's name has been mentioned. Then we celebrate our doctors and dentists together. I hope you will support me. Great. So let us test, because this is evidence-based medicine. So let, by the time the last person's name will be mentioned, you hear end before that name. So I'll be the last name. So let us try it and see. And Dr. Divine Banyubala. <laughs> you are such a wonderful audience. Thank you. So we start. Dr. Victoria Nam Manko Abo. Doctor. Thank you very much. So we are starting. Dr. Victoria Nam Manko Abo. Dr. Dan Kusi Aqua. Dr. Erica Janua Aqua Samson. Dr. David Yao Adakwa. Dr. Kwabina Adai Mensa, Dr. Justice Adolfo, 
Dr. Diane Adum Asamoa, Dr. Daniel Adumako, Dr. Graham Safu Adumako, Dr. Francis Amponsa Edu, Dr. Ebenezer Eduama Labi, Dr. Carl Edu Brempong, Dr. Rena Educhum, Dr. Michael Afrani, Dr. Smila Agalase, Dr. Sedam Agbenu, Dr. Elsie Kafui Afi Agbesi, Dr. Emmanuel Pratt Ajman, Dr. Joseph Bola Ahiagba, Dr. Kwabna Frimpon Ahmed, Dr. Enoch Kwami Ahuren, Dr. Sebastian Akapire, Dr. Gloria Selom Akwabla, and Dr. Enoch Agbevava Ejiram Kofi Akpelo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Joshua Kujo Akpelo, Dr. Zainab Akuran, Dr. Leslie Kwating Amankwa, Dr. Isaac Kojo Amedio, Dr. Isaac Ousu Amu, Dr. Anna Amwaku Kankam, Dr. Jackson Ampedu Ochre, Dr. Peter Ankoma, Dr. Esther Yemole Anan, Dr. John Ansa Ousu, Dr. Emmanuel Anson, Dr. Afia Apia, Dr. Riddick Nyakun Asante, Dr. Frank Asari Chirame, Dr. James William Asidu, Dr. Afia Echia Atakura Mensa, Dr. Matthew James Ati, Dr. Prince Adombila Atubiga, Dr. Obed Winnongte Avoka, Dr. Dwayne Bempa Ayibuafu, Dr. Comfort Ayerga, Dr. Emanuela Pengyengne Azeko, Dr. Che Bedu, Dr. Ruth Nana Ama Bediako, and Dr. Esther Sewa Bediako. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Daniel Ousu Benkuma, Dr. Joshua Pa Eko Blay, Dr. Frederick Boedi, Dr. Ama Yabua Boachi, Dr. Gifty Dodua Boating Eshan, Dr. Mami Ama Dodua Boating, Dr. Fatmata Fusheni Boli, Dr. Daniel Brook, Dr. Kiki Kabuki Caesar, Dr. Victor Akachuku Chibu, Dr. Derek Chiragia, Dr. Francis Soreba Dopire Chire, Dr. Ernest Suglo Dabo, Dr. Benjamin Dako, Dr. Miguel Edwin Dennis, Dr. Rhoda Etonam Efua Denichui, Dr. Lovelace Salasi Kweku Do, Dr. Perpetual Ejewa Donko, Dr. Emmanuel Braverson Dogbati, Dr. Abigail Abna Abwajua Dovo, Dr. Wisdom Dowe Kwaji, Dr. Emmanuel Roland Egan, Dr. Henry Pa Jumon Ehuron, Dr. Jeremy Essel, Dr. Frederick Fabio. Dr. Isaac Opoku Fofie, Dr. Eric Ousu Frimpong, and Dr. Frederick Dua Frimpong. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Renata Ba Amabiri Fuglu, Dr. Teresa Goody, Dr. Kenneth. Graham Arthur, Dr. Felix Jemfi, Dr. Ann Lisa Jima, Dr. Ruhama Winnim Hamza, Dr. Arin Elom Hodalo, Dr. Matthew Seyram Honu Jr., Dr. Mary Efua Bajo Kipo, Dr. Ernest 
Yao Quinedu, Dr. Jacqueline Samia Kuranten, Dr. Innocentia Atoklo Kula Riba, Dr. Angela Nyaku Kutin Mensa, Dr. Quinsta Kofi, Dr. Desmond Chiremi Ajiman, Dr. Anita Nuoire Tinubu Mala, Dr. Al Ali Atia Mahama, Dr. Emmanuel Mensa Bonsu, Dr. Charles Chuku Bwezi Nangwi, Dr. Emmanuel Nto, Dr. Esther Bafo Nyaku, Dr. Josephine Obing Owusu, Dr. Bismarck Ejekum Ofe, Dr. Samuel Ofori Apiaje, Dr. Magdalene Okai, and Dr. Beatrice Nanabosu Opoku. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Joanna Opoku, Dr. Ekuya Sechima Opon, Dr. Jacqueline Ose Kufo, Dr. Melody Ose Tutu, Dr. Justin Chum Berima Osei, Dr. Manuela Amwakua Othin, Dr. Kofi Aje Ousu Vegas, Dr. Emmanuel Krantin Ousu, Dr. Lois Asuman Nimwa Ousu, Dr. Elkana Alote Papo, Dr. Lord Willie Pierce, Dr. Mamiya Pokua Debra, Dr. Barnabas Abibi Saki, Dr. Russell Parkwesi Sego, Dr. Yao Sechi Edu, Dr. Nicholas Sapad, Dr. Michael Sefa Boateng, Dr. Latifa Laba Tanko Idi, Dr. Jima Terry Wizi, Dr. Ellen Grace Tete, Dr. Andrews Reku, Dr. Frederick Kwesi Yibua, Dr. Sandra Sur Al Yiri Bora, Dr. Belinda Abiti, Dr. Ezekiel Asari, Dr. Emmanuel Kojo Bedu, and Dr. Nicholas Kobna Tutu Ose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear inductees, may you all be upstanding now. Kindly don your white coats with your name tags on it. And I hope the media is here. Please try and capture their faces. Council expects that whilst you remain in the healthcare environment, you will be appropriately, professionally attired at all times. Now, on Wednesday, we had a whole day of professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar. We also gave you a preview into what is in the physician's pledge, the Hippocratic Oath. I now give you one minute. Those of you who have reflected on the oath and you feel strongly that personally you are unable to abide by any portion of that oath, please may you make your way out of the hall now. This is an important component and the basis of the profession. But once you take the oath, you come under the professional regulatory requirements. Any movement out? Respectfully, Chairman, I see no movement out of the hall. May I therefore respectfully submit for the consideration for admission into the profession 
130 newly qualified doctors and dentists. Respectfully submit the chairman. Will you kindly place your right hands over your heart? And say after me. As a member of the medical profession, I mention your name. solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me, even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with good medical practice. I'll foster the honor and noble tradition of the medical profession. I'll give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of health care. I will attend to my own health, well-being, and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Congratulations. You still remain standing. We now call on the Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, Honorable Mama Saini, to lead you into the recital of the National Pledge. This is the area of patriotism. We remain standing as we said, the National Pledge. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage one for us through the blood and toil of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the good name of 
Ghana. So help me God. Thank you. Shall we all be outstanding, please? Seat. Can we give them a big round of applause? Congratulations to you all. The latest hotel doctors in town. Come on, the applause. Congratulations to you all. Before the chairman's address, chairman, with your permission. May I recognize some dignitaries among our mess this morning. Without any particular order, may I recognize the presence of the following. Reverend Professor John Frank Eshon, Vice Chancellor Takrade Technical University. <clears throat> we have the Deputy Ranking Member Health Committee of Parliament of Ghana in the person of Dr. Mark Ket Nawani. We have with us Deputy Executive Director, Economic and Organized Crimes Unit, Yoko, in the person of Abba Jacqueline Opoku. We have the Deputy Head Management Information System, MIS, from the Pharmacy Council in the person of Rosemond Edu Opoku. <laughs> we have with us a Member of Parliament for Navrongo Central in the person of Honorable Samson Chiri Yari. <laughs> we have from Accra College of Medicine, the president of Accra College of Medicine, in the person of Professor Ifwa Hesse. I must say she has also been on our board before. She was, she's a former board member of the Medical and Dental Council. We also have the vice president for Accra Medical, Accra College of Medicine, sorry, Reverend Professor Adukwe Hesse. We have a member of the MDC Court of Examiners and also from the KNUST School of Medicine and Dentistry in the person of Professor Alex Osei Akoto. <laughs> we have with us a consultant plastic and hand surgeon, a retired CEO of Konfanochi Teaching Hospital in the person of Dr. Ohineba Ousu Danso. We have the principal, Nursing and Midwifery Training College, second D, in the person of Alhaji Boachi Yadom Abdul Karim. <laughs> the Vice President of the Ghana Medical Association, in the person of Dr. Justice Yangson. <laughs> we have with us Dr. Edna Chikoi Kasolo. We have the Deputy Executive Director for CHAG in the person of Dr. James Dua. <laughs> Last but not the least, representing the Acting Registrar, 
nursing and midwifery council in the person of Hamza Jamani. Thank you, all ladies and gentlemen. Professor Chairman, Honorable Deputy Minister for Health Members of the High Table, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the address by the Chairman of the Medical and Dental Council, and that will be delivered on his behalf by Professor Stephen Tebri. Shall we please welcome him? Chairman of the Ten Board of Medical and Dental Council, members of the Ten Board of Medical and Dental Council, minister, ministers of state present, deans, president of medical colleges in Ghana, distinguished guests, parents, relatives of the inductees. All protocol observed. I would like to thank the chairman and the members of the 10th Board of Medical and Dental Council for the opportunity given to me to deliver this speech on his, on his behalf. I warmly welcome you all to the induction ceremony, to this induction ceremony. The purpose of today's gathering is to induct and swear in 130 newly qualified doctors and dentists into the noble profession of medicine. The Indatis graduated from Kwame Nkrumah University School of Medicine and Dentistry, Accra College of Medicine. Among these Indatis are also young doctors who graduated from universities and medical schools outside Ghana. These 130 young women and men will beef up the human resources capacity in the health systems across the length and the breadth of the country. This ceremony is a common practice for doctors and dentists across the group. To the inductees, I have the singular pleasure to congratulate you on the long and tortuous journey of your studies as a newly qualified doctors. I can assure you that the next journey, which contains house job, medical officer training, specialist training, are similar but more difficult and demanding than the previous journey. I'm confident that you will say through these journeys elaborated above successfully so that Ghana, your family, and friends will celebrate you in a similar manner like what we are witnessing today. The MDC will support and provide the necessary guidance to help you to complete the house job successfully. You must remember that you are not qualified to embark on locum locum activities during the house job training. Understandably, most of you have spent so much money or have invested so much in your education. However, you must not begin to learn to eat with your two hands when you are hungry. The period of house job is a transition of knowledge you acquired during the past six years into application of managing patients. You must work hard with the consultant specialist in charge of your training, including your peers. Please note that using the social media has many advantages, but it is usually inappropriate for sharing information about patients. You shall not directly or indirectly disclose any information about patients to any person who is not part of the team taking care of 
those patients or manipulate or use such confidential information for personal gains except as required in the performance of your duties in connection with the patient care or as required by the law. Your primary responsibility, responsibilities are centered on the health, safety, welfare, and dignity of any human being, irrespective of ethnicity, gender orientation, religion, and political affiliation. In order to achieve these objectives, you must always seek to expand your knowledge and skills to keep abreast with advances in medicine. In the pursuit of this, you are required to develop a good interpersonal relationship with your teachers, peers, and other healthcare professionals. And these must be based on mutual respect, readiness to share information, and respect for authorities. In the discharge of your duties as an employee of Ministry of Health, Ghana Health Service, Christian Health Association of Ghana, Kwesi Government Organization, your role and conduct shall conform to the prevailing policies, rules, and regulations. The Medical and Dental Council is responsible for your posting, and you are please require to obey these posting regulations of the council. Sometimes insisting or using other dubious means to get posted to your preferred place can lead to undesirable consequences. The Medical and Dental Council is working tirelessly with all stakeholders to expand medical education in Ghana without compromising quality. Quality is very important for the council as it is enshrined in its mandate to protect the public health. This expansion requires investment in the existing medical schools, both public and practice, in public and private in Ghana. Considering the current national developmental issues, the expansion without compromising quality is very necessary for the, for the following reasons. Training in Ukraine is not possible because of Russian-Ukrainian war. China has stopped admitting Ghanaian students due to COVID-19. And many countries in the former Soviet Union are not safe for our wars. Once again, I congratulate you on your success as your determination and effort are being rewarded today. Remember that you could not have achieved this feat alone without the support of your parents, families, well-meaning friends, and not forgetting your teachers and administrators of your medical schools. Note that good people of Ghana and the government of Ghana has, in one way or the other, provided you with opportunity. Or others, even if you are not trained in the public medical school or in Ghana. Therefore, you are entreated to treat the people with dignity and utmost respect. I wish you all the best in your new journey as doctors and dentists. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Tebri. Treat the people with dignity and utmost respect. Owner of car number GW 4606-18, GW 4606-18, please attend to your car. I have been informed your glasses are down, so please attend to your car. Thank you. So we've come to where our newly qualified practitioners would have to show us their dancing moves. So, President King Youth Choir, without wasting much time, please give us some dancing tunes that uh, 
We will celebrate this day with. Thank you. So after this, I'll give the verdict for that of yesterday, which is the PAs and then that of the doctors.
Have your seats. Don't be carried away. We are still at the induction ceremony of the Medical and Dental Council, not a church service. That is why I didn't bring the offering bowl. If not, I should have come with the offering bowl. Please have your seat. And can we give a big applause to President King Youth Choir for the wonderful renditions of songs. President King, we are grateful. I can see you are sweating. Yeah, that's good. Can you give yourself some big round of applause? You did well. You can feel the joy amongst everybody here. Professor Chairman, Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, members of the high table, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to listen to the address from the Honorable Deputy Minister for Health in the person of Honorable Mama Saini. Shall we please welcome him as he delivers his address. Good morning once again. Uh, today is the day the Lord has made for us, so let us clap our hands for ourselves. Um, I am greatly delighted and feel honored to address you on the occasion of the induction into the professions of medicine and dentistry, some 130 newly qualified doctors and dentists to augment the current strength of about 12,000 doctors and dentists serving in various parts of the country. And that is, may I take this opportunity to offer you all very well-deserved hearty congratulations on your success. I further wish to commend your families, guardians, and all who contributed to your success. And of course, I extend a special appreciation to your lecturers, mentors, and the patients who kindly allow you to learn through them an important sacrifice that you should not be lost on you. Mr. Chairman, I am particularly happy that the ministry is receiving into our fold another batch of freshly qualified doctors and dentists into the profession of medicine 
from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology School of Medicine and Dentistry. Accra College of Medicine and foreign trained doctors who pass cancer's registration exam. Mr. Chairman, I wish to touch on the issue of the attitude and conduct of healthcare professionals. In keeping with the highest regards that society accords to healthcare professionals, the society rightly expressed a correspondingly high standard of professionalism and conduct. As a consequence, the object of counsel, as provided in the part two of the Health Professional Regulatory Body Act 2013 at 8557, is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medical and dental dentistry in Ghana. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, often the lieu of specialized knowledge and success, if not properly managed, tend to result in bolted egos or inconsiderate conduct and may make one lose his humanity, the capacity to care. Ladies and gentlemen, any keen follower of the healthcare sector will have noticed that recent media reportage is repelled with claims of professional negligence, improper conduct, and unethical behavior by our doctors, dentists, physician assistants, nurses, pharmacists, etc., etc. The very people who openly swore oaths and committed themselves to serve us in our most vulnerable states are now our abusers. This is unacceptable. I repeat, this is unacceptable. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, government is committed to ensuring that Ghanaians nationwide have access to quality healthcare services. In, 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 in line with above, the Ministry of Health, as part of the 2023 program of work, is to institutionalize quality standards and practice in the, in the delivery of health services, ensure universal access to a better, efficiently managed, and high quality primary health care system. Reduce avoidable maternal, maternal care, child and adolescent deaths and disabled disabilities. Increase access to responsive clinical and public health emergency services. In accordance with my ministry's focus on issues of quality and safe care, access to specialist services, professional conduct, and practice standards, I am aware that the council is, is scheduled to redesign, restructure, and harmonize curricula of medical and dental training schools in Ghana, taking into account ethics, research, and entrepreneurial skills. Work with dentists of medical and dental schools, the colleges, Christian Health Association of Ghana, chief executive officers of uh, training hospitals, and other stakeholders to, to, to advocate for the needed investment into existing training schools to boost local training of doctors and, and dentists through decentralization and leveraging in local resources. The vocal content for French language in the medical and dental uh, curricula, introduce National Health Care Day, conduct quality assessment of 
husbandship and physician assistant internship. Develop scope of practice for medical and dental practitioners as has been done for the physician assistance group. Build equipped, build equipped and operationalize the National Clinical Skill Examination Center with the funding support of World Bank and progress with the passing of the drought amendment to part two of Act 857 to improve upon the regulatory mandate or its regulatory mandate. We require the support of all stakeholders, especially health practitioners to advance the quality of medical and dental training and practice for our collective good as a nation. Mr. Chairman, the ministry looks forward to a long working relationship with these newly qualified doctors and dentists, but they must remember the oath they took today. The, 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 the pre induction lectures in medical jurisprudence, professionalism, and conduct, professional ethics, and medical jurisprudence. That council organized for them and serve our people with diligence, integrity, dedication, and respect. They must not forget their faith. And I'm certain that God will more than meet their needs. That God will more than what? Need your needs. Don't run, don't run, don't run away. I wish, I wish you great success in your chosen career. God bless us all and bless our nation, Ghana, and make her great and strong. But I have this for you, that I'm always considered, even in parliament, as a rural MP, because I always speak for the rural people. Don't refuse to come to my constituency. The boy and man can constituency. We are looking for your services. I beg you. And I'll leave you behind. I'll leave you with your oath and the pledge of the country. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Minister for Health. He calls himself the rural MP. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the vote of thanks. I will now invite one of the latest hottest doctors in town, in the person of Dr. Irene Elom Hodalo, to give us the vote of thanks. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, distinguished speaker, Deputy Minister of Health, Honorable Mahama Saini, members of the 10 Board of the Medical and Dental Council, inductees, parents, mentors, all protocol observe, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good day. I am elated and greatly honored to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of all inductees, in appreciation to all who toiled materially to making this induction ceremony a success. I want to first and foremost express sincere gratitude to the Almighty God for His grace, guidance, and providence for us throughout medical school up to this stage. We will agree with the singer who said, See what the Lord has done. Indeed, the Lord has done a great thing, and it is marvelous in our sight. I want to thank the registrar, 
Dr. Divine Banyubala, and the, ten, and the members of the 10 board of the Medical and Dental Council for gracing this occasion with their pro glorious presence and for their fascinating address this morning. We are very grateful to all the speakers, Professor Stephen Tabiri, the Deputy Minister of Health, Honorable Mahama Saini, for making time to prepare and deliver such inspiring and intriguing addresses. We are challenged and motivated to be excellent and efficient doctors who will make a difference in our careers. The key issues you raised will linger on in our minds throughout our careers. Hippocrates said, wherever the arts of medicine is love, there is also a love for humanity. I would like to express profound gratitude to our parents and guardians for sponsoring and investing in us through school. Thank you for all the sacrifices. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the encouragement. We do not take this lightly. Ejanom, mamenom, mo eneyo. I would like to thank the organizers, the leader of the registration unit, Mr. Richard Apia Ejayi, and my colleague in the noble and honorable profession, Dr. Lois Owusu, and all the admins for your relentless effort in putting together this wonderful event. Your skills in planning and organizing are evidently top notch. You are simply amazing. I would also want to thank the present King Choir for letting us experience heaven on earth. To our friends in the media and the technical team, thank you for your presence and for the smooth running of this program. Finally, I would like to thank the leadership of the Medical and Dental Council for putting this induction together to welcome us to the fraternity of this noble and honorable profession. We are very grateful. God bless our homeland, Ghana. God bless us all. Thank you. We thank you for thanking us. Can we give another applause? That was wonderful. So at this moment, may I ask all inductees to be upstanding, all newly practitioners. Please put everything down. Now listen. We will want to appreciate our parents and guidance for the sponsorship they've given us throughout medical education. So we want a very resounding applause for them. Shall we go and give it to the parents? Thank you to all parents and guidance for sponsoring. So this is an appreciation to all parents. Let it go, let it go for them, for their parents. That is wonderful. So you may take your seat. Thank you to all parents and guidance for making this dream come true. Thank you for paying the fees, both legal and illegal. Yes, those that you understand, those that you don't understand. But you are still giving the money anyway. We thank you. So we also want to thank CES, that is Continuous Education Services, for being with us throughout the COVID time. And they are still with us. Can we give it to CES? They are streaming our event live for all family members 
that we are not able to make it on our Facebook page. And we also want to thank President King Youth Choir for the wonderful songs. It's been nine years since 2014. Next year, we are celebrating 10 years with President King Youth Choir. Can we give them a round of applause? The first time we used President King was at Men's Vic Hotel, 2014. And from that day, they've been at every single induction that we've had. So kudos to President King. But for next year, no fees and charges because we are celebrating 10 years. So take note, rest. We thank you all for coming. We've come to the end of the program, ladies and gentlemen. So just a few announcements. When we finish, our board members will recess with our dignitaries that we invited. And our newly practitioners will remain in the hall. Shall we please be upstanding as we take the closing hymn? Land of our birth, the seventh and eighth stanzas. to remain standing as we have recession of the members of the high table and our dignitaries. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the program. My name is Sapir J, Head of Registration, Medical and Dental Council. You may please have your seat. Our parents may leave us now, just conduct some short business. So we are done. Thank you and congratulations to you all.